And so, after pummeling Lord Crump, Mario obtained the second Crystal Star. With the X-Nots gone, peace once again prevailed throughout the Great Tree. The Boggly Woods echoed with the puny Song of Joy. But this may not be the last our hero hears from the vile X-Nots. They will surely continue to stand in Mario's way and try to put a stop to his efforts. Oh, peach time! What? Say that again. You can't get in touch with Lord Crump. You are correct, sir. We are investigating now. We should hear any time. Sir Grotus, please allow me to enter. What is it? I have a report, sir. The Crystal Star in Boggly Woods has apparently been taken by Mario. What? You must be joking. What about Lord Crump and the Three Shadows? I'm sorry, sir. Unfortunately, Mario laid a beating on all of them. Hmm, disturbing. Perhaps this Mario character is not the fool I took him for. Speak up, X-Naught. What is the status of the other Crystal Stars? I apologize, sir. We are still searching for the other Crystal Stars. Unsuccessfully, sir. We knew there were Crystal Stars in Hooktail Castle and Bugly Woods, yet Mario claimed them first. The one we seized came from Rogueport. That means there are four Crystal Stars left out there. And we will have them! Keep looking. Do not let Mario beat us to the punch. Yes, sir! As I su suspected, there's no reason to doubt that Mario has that map. He must. Listen up, you. I want you to keep the close watch on what Mario does from now on. Absolutely, sir. Mario, I loathe you. Oh, Mario, did you ever re even read that mail I sent you? I wonder. I wonder so many things. I wonder how everyone is doing at the castle. I wonder, what's in a wonder ball? Will I never dance at the mushroom ball again? What will become of me? Did I leave the oven on? Did Toadsworth leave the oven on? Who will shine my shoes? Did the latest magazine that I ordered come in? Who will record my soap operas? Hello, Princess Peach. I am glad you came. That mail I sent tomorrow, did it reach him all right? Yes, I can confirm that Mario received the mail. Is that so? Well, good. But what do you want from me today? Is there more you want to know of love? You expressed regret earlier that you would not be able to dance at a ball, correct? Were you eavesdropping? I am sorry, Princess Peach. I have been ordered to keep surveillance on you. But it is odd. When you said that, I had an impulse to dance with you as well. How my CPU would produce this impulse is inexplicable. I must find what caused it. Find out what caused it? There's no reason behind such a feeling, Tech. Wanting to do something together, that's part of love, I know it. But then again, you are, well, a computer. Princess Peach, please dance with me. Wait, wait just a minute. What am I supposed to do? You say you want to dance, it's just so bizarre. I mean, how in the world can I dance with you? You have no arms or feet or moves. Show your moves! Would this be an acceptable dance substitute? Oh my goodness, is that me? Did you create that? Oh, alright, I guess. I must say, though, it's going to feel weird dancing with myself. Wait for the button icons to light up, then press the correct button to dance. Nope. I immediately botched the X button. I knew it was gonna throw me with the X button immediately. I always get the X button mixed up with Y. I even prepared myself for it. I was like, okay, map out the buttons in your head, Rez. Where's the X button? The X button's up top. Oh, look, the X button showed up. Press Y. Hey, 
Thank you, Princess Peach. That was very fun. Just a moment. Fun? Is this impulse I feel the concept known as fun? Thank you for dancing. Please make use of my communicator. Use the keyboard to send whatever message you want. Princess Peach, send noodles. The message has been sent. Please go back to your room. I want to analyze the data from this dance immediately. Also, what are noodles? Pasta? Pasta. Ramen. You're a weird computer. No, you are mistaken. I am the world's best and only perfect computer. Good night, Princess Peach. Oh no, it's Bowser time. Time to get some water first. Okay. <clears throat> I'm pre <clears throat> Nope, lost it. I'm pretty- Nope, I'm pretty sure it's just up ahead here. Right as usual, Lord Bowser. We just got word the Princess Peach was spotted in the town up ahead. Good, yes, very good. Then I'm off. These fools don't know what's coming. <laughs> My lord, you're so super. <laughs> Ready to roll. God, I love how ridiculous this specifically is. Like, there was no reason for them to put that in there, but it's fun. Wait, ground pound? That was a thing? Can I go back? Redo? I need to redo. I want to try something. Oh, hey, welcome to Petalburg, and... Beak! Hide, everyone, hide! <laughs> what a wuss. Yes, hide, chickens. I have no need for any of you. What I do need, though, is Princess Peach. Now, where is she? Tell me this instant. I am slowly losing it. Lord Bowser, over here. Nope, nope. Peachy! Bingo! Princess Peach! Man, that was easy! I found you, my princess! I, Bowser, the mighty Koopa King, offer my greeting! Now, now, none of that silent treatment! You're coming to my castle with me! Hey, <laughs> Clearly she's overcome with joy that she's been left speechless! The mind of a maiden is, well, rather complicated! <laughs> I see. How refined, how elegant, awesome. I could go for the strong silent type. There are too many backseat bosses talking my ears off as is. No! I'm in my life's treasure. I'd rather die than give you my life-sized peach poster. Poster? Oh my goodness me, you didn't see that coming. Great, just great. Now I look like the huge mighty king of guys who talk to posters. I'm glad the Bowser segments are short. I could not keep that up for any long period of time. Hey look, there's Jabble. And I'm out of water. We can go back to our peaceful way of life now. You know, son, now that we get right up- I am- My posture is horrible. Hold on. I have slid so far down in my chair, it's not funny. I do love pontificating, so come on by whenever you want to sit and chat a while. Yes, please come back and visit. We'll watch for you. We'll work together from now on to prevent anything like that from happening again. Thanks for showing us how to stick together, Mario. Good luck with the crystal stars. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, we'll be back again when I come to loot your village. Alright, so now we have to backtrack all the way back to Rogueport. We have quite a few things to show off. And... Oh! My butt's ringing! Dear Mario, I'm sure you're very concerned about me. But please know I'm fine. I'm actually more worried about you. The fiends who kidnapped me are searching desperately for the Crystal Stars. I'll try to learn what I can about them. I'll email again if I uncover anything, okay? You must know I miss you. Lately I've dreamt about our days back in the castle. I hope we'll spend carefree days there again soon. Peach! What was I saying? Oh yeah, I have a fair few things to show off. We've got to drop the Crystal Star off at the... Now's in your door first. We should do a lot more trouble board requests. I want to clear out as many of those as possible. And yeah. All sorts of collections. We also have Flurry, which means we've unlocked a fair few new secrets that we can collect. Let me just switch to her real quick. Because the first one is actually right over this way. The Happy Heart Partner Badge. All right, we are super close to the thousand year door. So let's, I am sliding in my chair. We'll go up here first. Whoopsie. Overshot myself just a little bit. There we go. Now I could, if I ch wanted to. Oh, all the partners show up with us. That's neat. I like seeing that. Seeing our entire team just there with us. Oh, next is Yoshi. Next has got to be the Yoshi one. So yeah, we are doing Glitz. That's exciting. I love that one. The Glitz Pit. Mercy me, the next crystal star has made an entrance, my, 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 but correct me if I'm wrong, but is that, isn't that up in the sky? What does that mean? Mm. It means... It's up in the sky, that, that's, that's what, it, that's it. That means that beneath this town, the thousand-year-old ruins remain intact. And that door has been sealed shut for a thousand years by the Crystal Stars. In order to open that seal, we have to muster the power of all the Crystal Stars. Perhaps I'm just daft, but why would they want to seal this treasure away at all? Did they fear their thieves and brigands? If not, then what? No, that's not... Hmm? That's not what? I don't know! Frankly, please! I'm sorry, so sorry. 
I know that the treasure was sealed away around the time the town was destroyed. But the problem is no one's even sure what it was that caused the town's demise. All that's written is this. Darkness stole the sky and the cataclysm rained down. I must research this more, assuming we'll just make an... Well, you know the saying. Oh yes, how inappropriate. In any case, what about the location of the crystal star that's floating on the map? Very interesting, perhaps it's pointing to the floating town of Glitzville. There's a stunning arena there where great warriors engage in furious battles. Ostensibly, families go there on vacation to lounge and enjoy the fights, but behind the scenes, the richest people in the world wager on the bouts. A floating city, you say? So, are we just supposed to sprout wings and fly there, darling? Do tell. A special blimp flies there, departs from Rogueport several times a day. The problem is getting a seat. The only way to get a ticket is through certain channels. Oh, that sounds exciting. A little on the seedy side. Show me the way. Hmm, I don't know, but I guess we don't have much choice. Word on the street is all tickets go through Don Pianta on the west side. Head west from Rogueport Main Square and you'll reach the side town controlled by Don Pianta. He's the Pianta Syndicate head and I heard he makes pretty regular jaunts over to Glitzville. I like the sound of this Don Pianta fellow, I cannot wait to meet him! Yeah, he's a mob boss. I should remember the code. Oh, hello, Coopley. Mario, Coops, how are you boys doing? I'm just amazed. I had no idea a machine like this could be used to send messages. Technology, wow. I'm doing great, drinking fresh spring water, picking wildflowers, polishing my shell. This town seemed so boring 10 years ago, but I see the world differently now. I bet you'll like Petalburg more than you used to once you get back from your adventure, Coops. So where are you headed next? I want you to see the wild, wide world, son. It'll be good for you. You'll grow. But don't grow too much, else you might be too tall to fit through the front door. Aw. What was I doing? Right! So I did take on a trouble where I have to go hunt for somebody. And now that we have Flurry, we can do a lot of exploration. Hello, Luigi! Well, I went to Rumble Bump Volcano and got myself a marvelous compass piece. It was an incredible quest. There was danger and all sorts of adventuring. It was pretty harrowing, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a long story. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. As soon as my ship docked on the Pudding Continent, I set out for the volcano. To reach my destination, I spent several days forwarding through dense jungle. Scary beasts were all over. More than once, I thought I was done for, bro. I may have screamed a bit to scare them off, you know, but as fate would have it. A blooper named Bluey heard me, shrieking and found me in this one town. Bluey was on a journey of his own, but he joined me after hearing my tale. Now, Bluey's a madman. Back in his hometown, they call him White Torpedo. Yeah, he's a tough guy. Anyway, he helped me fight the Rumble Bump Volcano. This place was all about bubbling lava pools and heat that had made the sun sweat. And the place was lousy with evil traps designed to protect the compass piece. The scariest one was, it was all this gigantic 100-foot tall statue that stomped around. Now, the weakness of this giant statue, bro, was a red gem on its forehead. No, I can jump high, but not high enough to reach the thing by a long shot. But I came up with this plan for Bluey to hit that weak spot. All you man, I said. I waited for a pause in the statue's movements and hucked Bluey up there. And Bullseye, the white torpedo, saved the day. That jewel got whacked. It was a critical hit, and then stone statue toppled and crumbled into pieces. Once that was done, it was an easy stroll to the room where the treasure was. Unfortunately, Princess Eclair was nowhere to be found. But I got another piece of that marvelous compass and put it in the base. Now the compass pointed west to Plump Belly Village, on the Strudel Continent. So I set sails once again and came back here to Rogueport to recharge. It's what happened to my, me lately, but I'll be heading back out soon. Want to hear about anything else? No. Hey there, I'm Bluey, and this guy is a total liar. Don't listen to him. You heard his story, right? Well, he did try to throw me, but he completely tripped. And what happens? I end up landing in lava. Lava, man! You think that feels good? Thanks to him, you can stick a fork in me. I'm well done. My pale skin's crispified. I'll never forgive this guy. I'm gonna make him pay if it takes my whole lifetime. That's the only reason I'm still hanging out around with him. You'll pay, Luigi! It looks like a cookie. Uh, something I forgot to tell you. I highly recommend that you look into obtaining a certain badge. It's called First Attack. If you have that badge equipped, you can take care of weak foes with a first strike instead of fully battling them it out. Yep. Cool. 
Got it. Thanks. Uh, what do you have first? Timing to tutor, Mega Rush, Hammerman, Dried Mushroom. Eh, I'll pass for now. I do want to collect all the badges, but I am strapped for coins. Instead, I want to try and invest in him first. And I'll invest again. I promise you, I will strike oil, so expect good news. Now I have zero money. Which is not actually a good thing, but... With all the exploration that I have planned, we should at least get a few coins to work with soon. And that's the rub right now. We are taking a little bit of time to do some in-between chapter stuff. Firstly, we're going to go down this sewer pipe. And go down here. To our shortcut area. Where we have a new shortcut pipe to unlock. I act, like I said before, I accidentally discovered this off screen, but now you guys can see what happens. Oh, that's pretty. All right, but I don't need to take that pipe just yet. Instead, I'd like to head to Petalburg. Because if memory serves me correctly, not only do we have to find somebody hiding in Hooktail's castle, but there's also something special in Hooktail's room that I'd like to get my hands on. I'm also looking for that. Star piece. Alright, so I think... I could be wrong. It's gotta be somewhere. Come on. Well, I need to look this up again. Okay, let's look it up. No, it should be right here. It should be somewhere here. How wrong am I? Oh, uh, nope, there it is. The badge cannot be found before taking on the trouble. So I, I went up here for the wrong reasons. I tried. It should still exist. I was just getting ahead of myself, as I do. Yeah, here you are. So you found me. Curses. I felt sure that none would ever find me here. This was the only other place that I didn't... 
I don't, I don't think I looked by. Kupook! I thought it was you. We used to be neighbors back when we were barely shell high. Koops, is that you? Yes, Koops! The same Koops who always had to be it when we played hide and seek. But you never found me, not even once. Can't believe you finally did it! Yeah, I remember back then. That one day you hid and no one ever found you. Right, that was the very day that I decided to become the hide and seek Koopa. Ever since that day, I've hidden, snuck, and snuck, and hid my way through life. Yep, that was a big day. But since you found me this time, I'll give you what I promised. Special card! Ooh! Let's just play the plane mode game. Oh, that must be back in, uh... Pianta Parlor. 